All right, so these last examples that we're going to do uh, require the same steps that we followed when we were converting uh, milliliters to liters, okay? So the first step is to tell me what we're starting with. We have five deciliters. And deciliters has the D equals how many decaliters? Deca is DA, okay? All right, so which one of these? Well, first we start off with what we're given. Start off with the given unit, five deciliters, and we multiply that by the correct ratio so that deciliters will cancel out. Deciliters need, therefore needs to go in the denominator, and decaliters goes in the numerator. All right, uh, let us see where these units are. All right, so which one of these is greater, deca or deci? Let's see, da is here, deci is there. Deca is greater, so greater. <laughs> so in one decaliter, there are, let's count to deciliters, 10, 100, 100 deciliters, okay? Now we cancel out the deciliters, and the answer will give us decaliters, good. All right, now it's time to write what we are starting with. We're starting with five. Decimal point in five is right there. And we multiply that by one, doesn't do anything. Then we, um, we divide by 100, okay? And whenever we have a power of 10 in the denominator, we move the decimal point to the left, okay? So let's do that. Let's move it how many? Once, twice, two zeros. Twice to the left. Once, twice. New home for decimal point is right there. And we put a zero. And how many holes do we have? Zero. So we have 0 0.05 deciliters. We're done. Let's move on to the next one. All right, 75 centiliters, 75 CL. And we have, we're trying to get to milliliters. So we have milliliters as well. All right, let's multiply by the correct ratio so that centiliters will cancel out. CL here, ML there. All right, centiliters will cancel out. And let's see, which one is greater, milla or centi? Let's see. Centi is right there, milla is right there. Centi is greater, so we're going to put a 1 in 1 centiliter. There are 10 milliliters. Okay? All right, now we begin to move our decimal point if necessary. All right, so in 75, the decimal point is to the right, and we move it. It's a, the power of 10 is in the numerator, so we move it to the right. Move it to the right, how many? Once. Move it to the right once. New home for the decimal point is right there. And we put a zero in the empty space. And we're dividing by one, doesn't do anything, so the answer is 750 milliliters. Good. All right, try to do these next two on your own, and then check in with the video after you are done. All right, let's see how we did this. 964 kiloliters multiplied, we're trying to get to hectoliters, so we're going to multiply by hectoliters over kiloliters, because we want the kiloliters to cancel out. Alright, let's see which one is greater, hecta or kilo? Kilo. So we're going to put a 1 next to the kilo, and then how many to get to hecta? 10. Alright, let's start with 964, where's the decimal point in this? Remember, if you don't see it, it's always to the right of the last digit. All right, now we're uh, multiplying by a power of 10 in the numerator, so we're going to move it to the right. How many? Once, because one zero. Let's move it once. So we have 9640, then the decimal point, and then dividing by 1 doesn't do anything. So we have 9640, and now I put my comma in. 1, 2, 3, hook it. Please put your commas in only at the final answer, not in your work, because you might confuse them for decimal points. And the last one, 75 milliliters equals how many deciliters? So we're going to multiply by milliliters down there and deciliters at the top. All right, which one of these is greater, deca or milla? See, deca's there, milla's there, deca's greater. Put a 1 next to deca and... Let us move through and see how many we have to get to Mila. 10. Start at Deca and move to Mila. 
ten. Hundred, thousand, ten thousand. So ten thousand. That's one with one, two, three, four zeros. So that's one with one, two, three, four zeros. All right. Now the milliliters will cancel out. I start with 75. Decimal point is right there. I multiply by 1, doesn't do anything. And then I divide by 1,000. Divide by 1,000 means I am uh, moving the decimal point to the left. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4. Four places to the left. Once, twice, three, four times. New home for the decimal point is right there. Adding a zero there and there. All right, how many holes do I have? Zero. So I put a zero right in the front. And the answer is 0 0.0075 deciliters. So that's 75 ten thousandth deciliters is in 75 milliliters. Hope you enjoyed and understood how simple the metric unit conversions are with the metric system. Always remember, King Henry doesn't like chocolate milk. King Henry doesn't like chocolate. Doesn't, sorry, <laughs> King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Kilo, hecto, deca, units, deci, centi, milli.